YouTube. It's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd throw this one in there. This is my wife's um, 2020 Ford Expedition. It's an XLT. It's the 208A version. Uh, it's got heated and cooled seats, uh, four-wheel drive, push start, of course, leather. It's got the uh, panoramic sunroof, which is really cool. It's one of the coolest features on the car. Uh, it doesn't have front sensors, which I wish it did. It does have in the back, backup cam. Couple things I don't like about this car already, and I called the dealership a minute, a little, about a week ago. I was, I was like, "Hey, I think I need an oil change," and they're like, "No, no, you're good. The oil change you don't need one until ten thousand miles." So I was like, "Oh, okay, that's cool." So I was scrolling through the vehicle uh, gauges, and I was just kind of looking at engine hours, idle hours, and oil life. So I've got 3,600 miles on the car now. Now keep in mind, it says 10,000 miles before the first oil change, but it says even on their own gauges that the oil life is down to 44%. <laughs> I'd really hate to figure out what it is at 10,000 miles. You won't have any oil life left at all. So I think that's a really stupid thing that Ford does. Um, I would never let my car run to 10,000 miles before I put an oil change on it. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Especially when your own gauge is saying at 3,600 miles, you have 44% oil life left. So always change your oil at around four to 5,000 is my opinion. Um, overall, also the car itself. So this is not the max. This is just the Ford Expedition. Uh, it's kind of like your Tahoe, I guess, but it's not the max. The fuel economy, we're averaging 12.9 miles a gallon. Now keep in mind, we do a lot of in-town travel, um, but overall, for the first 3,600 miles, we're only averaging 13 miles a gallon. It's terrible. I guess that's kind of to be expected for a full-size SUV, but... I mean, even our 6.2 V8 Yukon Denali we had, we were averaging 15 to 16. Uh, and that, that was without... It didn't have turbos. Uh, I was expecting better, and we're not getting really good gas mileage for people. So don't don't, don't buy this vehicle thinking because you have an EcoBoost that you're actually going to get good gas mileage. Not going to happen. Um, overall, uh, the car's a mess, but there's plenty of space in the vehicle. So I guess the max their their whole idea behind it is you get more storage room to put your luggage and stuff in the far back if you're gonna take a dog with you if you have a really large family it's probably a good thing our garage won't fit a max so that's mainly one of the reasons why we got this one plus also i just don't i don't really like how, how the maxes look overall uh very reliable so far well another thing i didn't like about this car now this one is the blackout package okay and i'll probably put a picture up here for you to see but the tires they have on this vehicle are also another negative thing for me they're uh hand cook tires <sighs> i don't like them either they're already starting to show signs of wearing at 3600 miles um i don't i don't like these tires they're not my first choice um anyway Thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, comment below. If you haven't already, follow along. It's uh, I really like the panoramic sunroof. What do I really like about this car? Is the panoramic sunroof, push start, heating cool seats, heating steering wheel. Um, that's about it. So, yeah.